Babe, I'm back. You wouldn't believe how... Babe? Hey, are you... Oh. Oh, my God. I'm gonna grab some bandages or something. All right. No, 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 shh. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm not mad. I didn't know what to think. Seeing you like this. Just, um, sit tight. Just for a second. Can you pull up the hem of your shorts? I need to... Yeah, that's good. Thank you. What, uh, are you okay? I mean, I figure you're not. Not right now, at least. You were bleeding, obviously. There were a lot of cuts. It was a lot of blood. You don't... You don't need stitches, do you? For any of them? Okay. Okay. That's good. I'm glad you didn't, um... cut... too deep. I know. I shouldn't be crying right now. Just... I didn't know you still felt like you needed to. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's been a while since you've relapsed. Is there anything in particular that caused it? Just bad day. Really bad, huh? It must have been. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm sure the bathroom floor isn't the most comfortable thing in the world. Do you want to move to the couch or the bedroom or something? Bedroom? Okay, let's get you up then. <clears throat> Sorry, I did sort of a half-assed job with the bandage. I was a little panicked. That's good. They didn't look too deep, at least from what I saw. Hopefully they'll skip over by morning.
Why didn't you call me? Before you. You could never bother me. Not with something like this, not with anything. You seem like you've really been struggling the past few days. Don't think I haven't noticed. I just didn't want to push things, because you said you were fine. But maybe I should have... I know. I know, but I can't help but think that sometimes there's things I could do to help you. I want help in any way I can, because I care about you. You know, it might be hard to be vulnerable enough to talk to me about something so heavy. And it's okay if it takes you time to get to the point where you can. But I don't want you to think that you can't come to me about stuff like this. I just want you to feel like you can tell me about anything. Bad, good, everything in between. Little steps, you know? Like, on a scale of one to ten, rate your day or something, I don't know. Something verbal or tangible that you can express your emotions with. Other than the self-harm. Yeah, it sounds a little silly or cheesy or whatever, but you never know what might help. Even if it's just a little bit. I'm here to talk, to comfort you, listen to you vent, whatever you need. Anything other than hurting yourself. You know you can share that weight you carry every once in a while, right? <sighs> share it with someone besides your therapist, of course. You sort of pay them for that. Maybe, right now, I could help you understand why you wanted to relapse. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you were telling me that a lot of times it's this impulse that you have trouble resisting. Like a compulsion to do it almost, right? And other times it's more of a control thing. So, today... Oh. Um... Did you try those coping mechanisms we talked about? It was forever ago, but it was like... A list you made, writing down why you want to... Nothing helped? You couldn't think to do them, because the impulse was too overwhelming. Um, do you think that maybe figuring out some contingency plan would work? At least, if you feel like you can't go through the breathing exercises or the grounding techniques, then we can use it. Uh, 
Okay. Hmm. How about this? If you're ever having those thoughts, just sit for a second. Really try, if you can, to pinpoint why it is that you want to cut yourself in that moment. Maybe it's because you didn't get enough sleep or forgot to eat. Missing stuff like that can really throw your day off. Or it could be that you're lonely or frustrated or sad. Then taking a shower, distracting yourself, calling someone you love. <laughs> That could help. It's easy to forget that the little things add up. And they could have big consequences if you're not careful. Just promise me that next time, you'll come and get me. No matter what. Deal? And I don't want you to think that it's too much for me to handle, because let me assure you, I can take it. Mm. Okay, good. You mean a lot to me, and it's hard to see you so upset. I love you. More than you know. <laughs> now, with most of the heavy stuff out of the way, how about a movie? Something to help you wind down? Yeah. Not anything too sappy or majorly depressing. Romance. Hmm. Comedy? No, I didn't think so either. Hmm. Oh, they're doing another Harry Potter marathon on sci-fi, and it looks like it's just gotten to the Goblet of Fire. I know that one's your favorite. Yeah? <sighs> Great. I want you to know that I'll always be here for you. No matter what. <laughs> 